diesel pusher. This is my 06 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins with a six speed manual. This is a two wheel drive truck. And uh, this truck is pretty much stock, but the front end rakes down a lot on this truck. And as you can see in my hand, we have a little coil spacer. This is a one inch spacer that we're gonna install on the front of this truck to bring up the front end just a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's gonna quite perfectly level it out, which is fine because I do tow a lot with this truck and I don't want the front to be pointed up in the air when we start putting weight on the truck. So I just wanna bring up the front just a little bit so when we load the truck, it will ride pretty much level. That's the idea. That's why we're just gonna do a one inch spacer. These spacers I picked up on eBay and they were actually fairly cheap. They're like 50 bucks for the set. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. But we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. We got the driver's side already done. And we're gonna show you how to do the passenger side, which will show you what you need to do. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you're gonna need to get you a jack to lift up the front of the truck. And obviously we're gonna have to take off the tire and wheel assembly. So we're gonna get all the lug nuts removed and get this tire off. All right, next thing you're gonna to need to do is remove this nut right here for the sway bar end link. We're gonna to need to take that off. Your shock has two bolts on the very bottom underneath here. Let's see if I can get the camera up there. There they are. You'll need to remove those two bolts as well. And then up here at the top, you'll have a nut for the top of the shock. That will need to be removed. And then the final thing is gonna be this big nut that holds on the ball joint to the control arm up here on the upper section. Once you remove that, we'll show you how to separate this joint without a tool. Very simple, stay tuned. All right, so we got the nut off for the sway bar end link. We are gonna work on the top of the shock mount, that nut, which looks pretty rusty. Hopefully we can get it off. All right, now we got the factory shock out. And while we're doing this job, we're putting in new shocks anyways, but shock is out. Now it's time to separate the ball joint up here. Two to six states. All right, so now we're about to separate the ball joint. We, look, we took our jack off of our arm down here, so everything's sagging down and what we're gonna do as you can see this mark that they put on here you're going to hit that with a hammer pretty uh just shock the crap out of it and usually it'll separate that joint and pop right off it might take a couple of hits but here we go and there you go as you see it separated so now we're just going to take the rest of the nut off right here and she is going to be completely off all right so we have everything lowered down we got the top separated and we just have a little strap kind of holding up our lower arm down here and the spring is right here we got access to it so we're going to take a big pry bar and pry it up right here and pop it out of the lower seat so we can slide in the spacer and then put the spring back on top of it all right we got the spring popped up and then we're just going to slide the spacer down there in the bottom and then we're gonna drop the spring back down. And now we're ready to go back together with it. All right, so we have our spring back in. We're gonna get the jack, slide it under the lower control arm. And then we're gonna jack this assembly back up. And then try to put everything back in place. Just like that, and then we're gonna reattach this arm. 
And then when you're going up with the jack, the floor jack, it'll bring the lower control arm back up. And then you're going to just keep jacking it up until it tries to lift the entire truck. Once you start lifting the whole truck, then you're going to stop. And then you'll actually just get a pry bar in here and pry the upper arm down to get your ball joint back in place. Keep going. All right, that's it. All right, so now we have reached the part where the whole truck is trying to lift up. So we're gonna get a pry bar up here and we're gonna pry the upper control arm down into the socket so we can start the nut on. All right, so as you see, we have our nut started. Now, sometimes you may run into the issue where you start tightening up the nut, but the whole entire ball joint spins. If that happens, if you have a second hand, that is good. You can pry down on this control arm more and basically force it to seat in the socket while someone tightens up this nut. That'll usually do the trick. So we're gonna tighten this up and then we just gotta tighten the nut up for the sway bar end link and then we gotta mount in the new shock. All right, we're gonna feed this new shock up through the inside of the spring. There it is. All right, and then we're going to take the top bushing, flat washer, and the nut. And then we just got to tighten up the two bolts on the bottom and then finish tightening this nut. All right guys, so we got the lift in the front completely done and it turned out pretty good. In the front, we have six and a quarter inches from the top of the tire to the top of the fender. And in the back, we have seven and a quarter inches from the top of the tire to the top of the fender. So the front is just slightly an inch lower, which is perfect for when I load the truck and we're towing, it will still be raked a little bit, but when we're towing, it's gonna be perfectly level. Looks pretty good. My opinion, the truck looks like a stock factory height four wheel drive truck now instead of a two wheel drive truck. Definitely love the height. I think it's gonna be perfect when we're towing and very easy to do. It only took us a couple hours to do this. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you a picture of what the truck looked like before we installed the spacers in the front. So here you go. Check it out. So there you go, guys. There's the eBay one inch spacers installed on Frostbite Hauler. Definitely like the new look. It's going to look a lot better when we're towing now, that's for sure. And obviously when we're not towing, the truck will look like it's not squatting down in the front so much anymore. So definitely like what's going on with it. Like I said, if you're interested, the link to these spacers will be in the video description. So just click below and it'll take you right to the link. Other than that, guys, stay safe out there and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.